One of the exciting features that the FT3 has that uh, the Yaesu uh, BX6 doesn't have is this thing called uh, a BAM scope. Pretty neat, actually. Um, so with the VX6, there is no way to tell what you know, like what's out there in terms of is there anything going on um, 100 kilohertz above that address or not. On the FT3D, you can view what's going on below and above, the, for example, this frequency. So what we do is we touch the uh, F button over here. And we can click on forward and scope. And wow, there it is. It's the band scope. It's viewing the spectrum, uh, basically. And right now, it's looking at 19 channels. So you can move the dial. Now, I have the uh, VFO uh, uh, dial on the bottom, not on the top. Now, it says right here I can view 19 channels and I believe I'm at 5 kilohertz yeah I'm at 5 kilohertz see that so you can go and view 39 channels at one time or 79 channels that's pretty amazing and you can touch like right here there's something going on right there and there it is isn't that incredible that's uh, super amazing. So you can scroll, you know, through the band, and, or just wait until you find a signal. Let's say you're moving the other way, right? And you're like, oh, look, right here. Not anymore. Oh, there it is. Click on it. Bam. There it is. Pretty neat, right? Of course, you can change the steps. Oh, let's turn that down. Of course you can change the steps on the VFO if you want. But that's pretty amazing. That's something that the VX6 doesn't have is a band scope and it's a lot more fun viewing the the band in terms of where um, somebody might be talking.